You're listening to the Powers Podcast with your host, Noah Powers. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to the Powers Podcast, episode two, with your host, Noah Freaking Powers. Um, now, before I get started on today's topic, I just want to say thank you guys so much. If you gave my last podcast a listen, um, it, it means the world to me, guys. And I actually had uh, several people uh, contact me personally and tell me the positive impact that the podcast had on them. Uh, and knowing that my words had a positive impact on someone means the absolute world to me. Um, so yeah, guys. Uh, now, if you didn't listen to my first podcast, but you're listening to this one and this is your first time listening to me, uh, please, I highly recommend going back and listening to that first podcast. Um, it was, uh, it was very emotional it was very deep, but I also feel like I kind of put myself out there and kind of put my cards on the table. So uh, it would mean a lot if you're listening and you want to go listen to that one. Uh, please, I recommend that you do that after. Um, so yeah, guys, before uh, we get started on today's topic, uh, I have a little bit of backstory. Um, so I'm currently in a relationship with a girl named Kaylee. Uh, we've been together for a while now, and um we weren't always that way. Our dynamic was not always uh, on a relationship basis. It was for the longest time, you know, just friends. You know, uh, I was friends on for a while. Um, so, if anything, this this story can act as uh, a little bit of relief for everyone who thinks that you know the friend zone is is permanent. Um, I was friend zoned with this girl for for years and. Uh, now I'm actually in a relationship with her, and I'm the happiest I've ever been. So, uh, yeah, guys. Um, so, before I talk about how we are now, I want to start out with how we met and how we got to this point. Um, we met in sixth grade. So, it was the first day of sixth grade, and she walks into the classroom with one of her friends. Um, now, at the time, I had just hit puberty, so my voice was really deep. I was awkwardly tall. Uh... I had an awkward build, like my body was awkwardly built. Um, and I was doing this weird thing with my hair because up until that point, I had a mohawk for a little bit, but most of my life, I had always rocked the bus cut or the military cut. It was, you know, just easy to to work with and you didn't have to get up and fix it in the morning. So that was always my go-to was just the bus cut. But for some reason in sixth grade, I felt the need to let my hair grow out. Now, not only did I let my hair grow out, but it was awkwardly, it was awkwardly long. So it wasn't long to the point where it looked good, but it was an awkward length. And for some reason, don't ask me why, I decided it was a good idea to rock the middle part. There are girls that won't rock the middle part. So don't ask why me, a dude, was, was rocking the middle part. I, I don't know why. Um, but yeah, that was, that was my appearance. Uh, in sixth grade, so as you can imagine, it was pretty awkward. Um, but back to Kaylee. Uh, first day of sixth grade, she walks into the classroom with one of her friends, and right off the bat, I, I had this attraction to her. Um, and not just her looks. Like, obviously, physically, I found her attractive, but there was just something about her. I didn't know exactly what it was because I had never met her before. But you'll find that as, I, as, as I've gotten to know her, uh, I have discovered what it was exactly that was attractive about her. Um, now, sixth grade, it's about halfway through sixth grade, uh, and I have yet to, to really form even a friendship with her. Uh, you know, there's always that point before you meet somebody, uh, especially in middle school, where you talk, and we never really had that. We never really had that you know, where we talked a lot. It was just kind of me looking on from a distance. And uh, so about halfway through sixth grade, a friend of mine, now I remember this, we were in science class, it was second period science, and a friend of mine goes up to Kaylee, because like I said, uh, I was awkward, and I was scared to talk to her. So I had my friend go up, and he kind of put in a good word for me. He said, look, my buddy Noah over there really likes you, he thinks you're cute. Uh, and she rejected me. Um, now I never saw her reject me or I never heard her reject me and she never told me directly that she was rejecting me, but Jonathan came back over to me and said, uh, she, she said no. So, uh, it was sad, 
but I wasn't necessarily heartbroken because I wasn't really losing anything. We, we didn't really have a friendship where we were hanging out and stuff. It was uh, very little interaction between us, but um, I was still attracted to her, so uh, it, was, it was sad. Um, now, fast forward seven years, senior year, uh, the end of senior year, nonetheless. It's perfect timing, and um, up until that point, she had been in a relationship for a little over two years, and uh, after she had been with her uh, previous boyfriend, I kind of thought, you know, they're going to be together for the long run, because they were together for so long, and uh, uh, to my pleasant surprise, she actually, uh, they ended up splitting up um, late January, early February, I'm not sure exactly when it was, but that was around the time frame. Um, so it's mid February towards the end of February of our senior year and we start talking more and, um, still have yet to go out on any dates or anything, but you know, we're talking more and that was, that was nice for me because I kind of started to regain hope that maybe, you know, maybe, she, maybe the way she looked at me has changed. And, um, sure enough, uh, 2017 was the year. University of North Carolina uh, won a national championship in basketball. So they were playing in the Elite Eight. They beat Kentucky, and I knew they were going to have a Final Four watch party in Chapel Hill. So the first thing I did after I saw that Carolina uh, had beat Kentucky was ask her if she would be interested in going to the watch party with me. And she said, um, well, I'd have to ask my parents first. And I was like, okay, that's fine. Um, you know, I, I understood, but part of me was scared that that was her way of letting me down gently without having to, to tell me no directly. Um, but sure enough, her parents said yes. And I can barely focus on the game because I'm so nervous that she's there with me. You know, it was two of my favorite things, uh, Carolina basketball or Carolina sports in general and Kaylee. You know, two of my favorite things, and, you know, I had them together like that. And um, it honestly meant the world to me that she even, you know, decided to go with me because I, I genuinely didn't think she was going to. And, um, you know, that was sort of our, our first date. Um, after that, uh, we, we went on an Atlanta trip. We were both in band in high school, and uh, at the at the end of senior year, well, towards the end of senior year, it was actually around spring break, um, we went to Atlanta, and we spent pretty much the entire weekend hanging out and, and doing stuff together, and it was, it was really nice, and, um, you know, I was, I was so happy at the time. Uh, later that week, we actually went to the beach, because like I said, we, we were on spring break, and uh, we actually went down to the beach for a day, and uh, that was when I kind of, I kind of knew there was something there. Now, leading up to that, you know, I always had these feelings, but I was always scared that, you know, she didn't feel the same way. But when we went to the beach over spring break, uh, towards the end of senior year, I knew there was something there between us emotionally. Um, I didn't know how it was going to work out. I didn't know how it was going to play out, but I knew there was something there and that was all I knew. And uh, after that, and over the summer, and that kind of thing. Well, we went to prom together, and, um, you know, the school year ended, we graduated, and uh, we, we hung out a lot over the summer. And it was one of those things where, at that point, I, I knew that we, we were together. You know, we were not officially together, but I knew, you know, we're doing things that, you know, people in relationships do. We go on dates all the time. We we do things together all the time. We've spent so much time together. And it's not the same as if you would, like, spend the night at your friend's house. You know, it's not like spending time with your friends. It's it's different. Um, and I don't mean that to say that I've ever spent the night at her house. But, um, you know, it was just an example. Um, so I knew there was something there. But I was always nervous or scared that, with college coming up, because we both went off to college, um, I was always scared because I, I didn't know how the long distance thing was going to work out. Because 
as you know from my last podcast, I go to school at UNC Wilmington, and she actually goes to school at UNC Chapel Hill, which is my dream school. So um, it actually worked out. You know, I get to drive up there and, and see her, and so I get to go to school down by the beach, and I get to go up there and see her. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds. Um, and yeah, after we went off to college, I feel like, you know, because a lot of people think with long distance, you know, you you kind of spread further apart, but I feel like it's actually made us closer because we talk a lot more and when we hang out, we don't take it for granted. We don't take it for granted as much. Um, you know, when we hang out, we actually appreciate the time we have together and, and that kind of thing. And at the point that we're at now, um, I've got to say, I've, I've never been happier in a relationship. Um, we're kind of past the point now where I'm kind of feeling like this is too good to be true. Um, don't get me wrong. I, I still, I still have those feelings, but it's at the point now where I'm not scared every day that we're going to break up or something like that. You know, I'm very comfortable in this relationship and I, I can see a future with her and, you know, I see myself being with her. Um, so much to the point that I can't picture myself with anyone else and I don't necessarily want to, you know, I, I want to be with her and, you know, I, from, from what she's told me, she feels the same way. So I feel like we have a very healthy relationship and, and that kind of thing. Um, now, so, so that's the story of us. Um, now I am sort of conflicted as to what to do because I don't just want to end it like that, you know? I, I'm considering, uh, the next time we see each other actually interviewing her to get her side and to get her take on, you know, the journey we had, uh, from sixth grade up until now. And, you know, I kind of, I kind of want to get her opinion on it because I've asked her before, but, uh, you know, it, it's always been kind of, uh, in conversation and that kind of thing. It's never, it's never really been where we've actually set aside time to sit down and discuss that. We've discussed it before because, you know, we have deep conversations all the time, but we've never actually sat down and only discussed that. So I think that's actually what I want to do in the next podcast, which I'm going to try and have up on Friday. Uh, so the next time I see her, I might see if she wants to uh, possibly do an interview so I can get her opinion and that kind of thing on, on everything that's gone on between us and, you know, where we started to where we are now. Uh, so, yeah, guys. Um, if you stayed till the end, thank you so much for listening. Uh, I really appreciate it. It means the world to me. Um, if, if you liked the podcast, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, leave a comment um, if, if you want to tell me some of your relationship stories. Um, if not, I totally understand. Uh, it was actually, when I was considering making this podcast, um, part of me felt like it was a little too personal to, to put out there, at least right now. But... Um, I, I talked to her about it, and she said, and I quote, I'll pull up the message right now. She said, okay, let's see. Here's what I said. I said, hey, babe, I think for my next podcast, I want to talk about us and how we ended up where we are. Would that be okay? So I asked her about it, and she, she responded, of course, babe, thank you for asking. But if that's a part of your life you want to share with others, please do. So, you know, she's very understanding, and, you know, she was very, you know, very happy to to allow me to do this. So, uh, yeah, I think my next podcast is, and if it's not the next podcast, I definitely want to do it at some point. But, um, I think what I want to do is talk to her and interview her so you guys can, can meet her and, and get her perspective and her opinion on it. So, yeah. Um, but that wraps it up for this podcast, guys. Thank you so much for, for listening. If you stayed to the end, thank you so much. Um, and like I said just a second ago, if you like the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, follow me on social media. I'll put my, uh, my handles in the description. And uh, yeah, guys. So, so that does it for this podcast. Have a good one.